video and I'm when I go through the video, I'm going to go through like the math of I'm going to go through math of like kind of like what students would look like and what their grade would look like in my class. OK, and so I think it really kind of comes into the important of like, you know, last live stream, we talked about like the importance of homework. Right. I mean, and, you know, is homework something that you are just doing just to do or you know, in your class, is there a benefit? Is there a purpose of having the students actually do the homework? And I think there's been a lot of debate, you know, about the um, efficacy of homework, like inside of a classroom. Now, I always assigned homework and I always, um, I always wanted students to, you know, have that work done. However, as the years gone on, I, you know, I kind of changed things where it used to be like you had to have your homework turned in. If you didn't, you got a bad grade and like that negatively impacted your grade. Whereas at the end of my teaching, um, I kind of changed the tune a little bit, you know, especially that also kind of app, you know, in with COVID where I was like, okay, you know, you can definitely say like I got soft from beginning teacher to end of teacher. But by the end of my teaching, I was like, I still want you to do the homework. But now one, I'm going to give you the grade, right? I'm sorry. I'm going to give you the answers to the homework. Plus you're going to have extra time. Like you have, rather than the homework is due like the next day. You have until the quiz, um, you know, until we take the assessment, the quiz or the test for that homework to be due. And in addition to that, yeah, that's what I also, and the third thing, which I didn't mention because I was like, I don't want to go through like all of this stuff, but like here, it also makes sense as well. If you didn't do your homework, you, I actually didn't negatively give you zeros. Now, again, this is something that changed. So beginning of the year or beginning of my teaching, I used to, I used to give zeros for homework. If you didn't do your homework, then you got a zero. Um, and then what I ended up doing was I would take the students grade. If you didn't turn in your homework, then fine. You just didn't turn in your homework. Now it was noted they didn't turn your homework, but, but I didn't negatively impact you, uh, on your grade. I just, I just basically kind of excused the homework from on there. Now, again, there's other opportunities for other carrots, as we like to say as teachers that, uh, that I had for you. Like, obviously if you wanted to retake a quiz or a test, then that was going to be an issue. If you didn't do your homework, well, then your opportunities for retake or improvements were kind of like at loss, right? You couldn't, um, you couldn't be afforded those opportunities. So that was kind of like one of those carrots um, that I always kind of wanted for students to be able to do the homework. But the, I just didn't feel, um, even though it was like, to me, it was very obvious. I'm like, do your homework. It's like free points. You know, still a lot of students, you know, maybe they really knew what they were doing. There was busy work to them and they didn't want to. So I felt like, I didn't want to negatively impact their grade if they did not do the homework. Um, and so, yeah, so, you know, by the end, I just decided to, I, it was better in my opinion to not have the zeros. Um, because again, a lot of students, you know, what I, what I talked about in last live stream is like, if student didn't know how to do the homework, what were their options and what would they do? You know, their option was like to stay up all night, go online, you know, try to figure it out, right? The, what we really want them to do is like study hard and like do the problem and figure it out. Or usually it was just not do it and say, screw this. I don't care. I'm, I'll give me the low grade or cheat, right? Find the answer from somebody else. Find the answer online. Use math software, chat GPT, right? And it's like, it's all available now. So, you know, that's what students would do. And they just played the game and then they got their points anyways. So like if your if your value of your homework or your grade was so much on like you completing the homework, like students knew the game. Like I remember when I was a student, like I knew the game, right? So it's like I I, I didn't one, I wanted to I wanted you to do your homework, but I didn't want you just doing your homework to be such an impact of your grade for if you did it, like, you know, you could have cheated on your homework, right? I gave the answers. So like it shouldn't you know, I gave the answers or like nowadays the, all the answers are online anyways. I mean, you can find the answer to almost anything. Um, so, you know, what's the point of giving you so much of your percentage of your grade for doing just, I'm going to say like busy work, but yeah, just like, you know, making sure those paper, um, making sure that, uh, information is written down and, and submitted. Right. It just, I don't know. Didn't, didn't fully make uh full sense. Awesome, Carson. I love that. <laughs> that is definitely soon. Um, also, I'm not giving zeros can give students extra chances. I strongly recommend putting zeros to students who cheated on tests. Yeah, that's actually a different one, Carson. Um, I didn't talk about zeros for cheating and stuff like that, but that is a that is another conversation. Um, and actually, that's another video as well. I'll have to bring up. Um, my grade just went by four percent, and my teacher hadn't changed any grade in the grade book. Um, 
oh, well, I have no idea how that. Um, I get half off. They did a little error. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, I would, I mean, so I'll talk about test in a second. And, um, I mean, yeah, it's, I think the main important thing is like homework. We want students to be able to do their work. Right. And I, and my thing is like, I didn't want students to be cheating to do their homework because, you know, unfortunately, like I kind of felt, I remember when I was a student, like I felt that pressure of having to do that as well, you know, and I didn't want students to have that. I wanted them to have answers. I wanted them to do the work. Um, and so I felt that like the best way for they do it was to, you know, provide them all the resources they needed to complete the work. Um, and you know, it also give them power, you know, credit for it and stuff like that. Um, but again, if they decided they didn't want to do it or, um, you know, whatever may be the case, then like I didn't negatively impact their grade. The only time I put in their homework was if it was a benefit, like I'm trying to remember. Um, yeah. Cause I would give them, let's just say a homework point grade was, I think like two points. And if it was partial done, they got one point, they could figure it in. But if it was done for two points and then, and then, yeah, that was it. Like, so I gave them like a homework grade by the time we took the test and, um, you know, they had until the test to like fix all their homework and whatever else may be the case. But let's just say a student was like lazy and did half the homework. So they got a 50, you know, 50% on their homework. Well, again, like that lost their chances for doing their, you know, if they wanted to take a retake or, um, have the lowest quiz grade dropped. Um, but also like I didn't negatively impact your grade. Like if they got, you know, let's say they got like an 80% on the test. Like I, I wasn't gonna have the 50% drop them down. Right. And I think that was one thing I remember somebody telling me, you know, when you looked into like, what, it, what's the purpose of grades? Like why, why are we giving the grades that we do, you know, and students, if someone gets like an 80%, but they just decided to do, you know, I don't know, 50% on homework, like, and that drops their grade down to a C, like, do they really have a C? understanding of the material, right? Or were we just knocking them down because they didn't want to do the work that we assigned, you know? And I don't know. It was it, it was looking at it in a different way that really made me kind of rethink my grading policy um, from on there. But one thing I can say is a lot of people, and even myself, right? Being a traditionalist, I guess you could probably say in the classroom, like used to giving zeros for not doing your work and like having that in my classroom. When I started to implement, you know, my policy of like what I did with my homework, and I think this is really, really important for people to understand. When I started to give less zeros for homework and I only give, I only put in their homework grade if it actually helped them. Um, they were allowed until the quiz to turn in their homework. They were allowed to the test. I'm sorry. They're allowed till the day of the test to have all of their homework updated and, and correct. I gave all the answers for their homework. Um, some students, I'd probably say a handful, right. Would just play the game. They were still, they were still stuck in that mindset. You know, they're just going to play the game. You could tell that they were copying my answers off the videos, um, whatever else, you know, and like, and they benefited their grade for a couple percentages. Like, and I don't think you're ever going to get rid of those students, right? They're always going to try to be the pleasers. They're always going to try to do whatever you give them. They're always going to try to take advantage of that. Right. They don't care about learning. They just want to get that grade and take advantage of it. Right. So those are always going to be those students. Um, but like for the students that, um, for the students that, uh, that one, I think struggled with math and like understanding that usually would be that just to kind of like out of desperation to kind of save the grade, I think giving them a lot more of that time, help them understand and like relieve the stress, um, to be able to do better in my class. And then also students that like did well in my class, um, you know, kind of like got to do the homework that they wanted to do or they could do. And they didn't really worry so much about like having to always have everything turned in, you know, on time or, or even at all sometimes, um, from on there. But the thing I wanted to say that was, I think the most important was like, my grades were exactly the same because here's the thing at the end of the year or at the end of this quarter, the end of the semester, when I used to give out zeros, I always had to put on like an end of the year, like curve. Cause if I didn't put any of the year curve, my grades would have been so bad. I would have gotten trouble <laughs> with my AP. Um, so I always had to, you know, apply some kind of curve, like the little bell curve, right. To kind of, um, to meet, I think, uh, a standards enough that, um, you know, enough kids were, were passing, uh, you know, and doing well enough in my class. And so my beginning of my year, I used to always have to put on a curve. And then what happened was when I started implementing, I think there's a little bit more of a fair system. I stopped having to use a bell curve. And I basically, the grades were the grades. 
And the cool thing about it was I could justify every single grade that you got. Like you came into a parent conference, I was ready for you because I was ready for what I provided you um, and also how your grade was, you know, computed. Like it wasn't like, oh, you went from, you know, an 80 and then you went down to 70 because you didn't turn in some things and like, oh, they're late. And like, I could never like justify why grades, you know, student grade could go down that low, you know, and stuff like that. Like, um, you know, just for, I don't know, little work like that. Like, obviously, sometimes if you like bomb a test or something like that, like you can have a really big impact on your grade. But I think a lot of times when when students would, um, you know, have issue with their grade, especially in the later fact, like I could always justify, always justify their grade. Whereas sometimes I remember the beginning when I was first becoming a teacher, like I would have like huge curves. Sometimes I had to apply on a grade and then kids would still complain about the grade. Right. And you know, it's like you get, they're like, get an F and you, they curve it to a C, but they still want to be, you know? And it would just like frustrate the heck out of me. Cause I'm like, this is not, this is not right. Like not one of my grading is not right because the, you know, if they're getting an F, but basically, you know, they're looking like in a C range, like that just doesn't make sense. Um, I got to find a better way to, you know, figure out their students' grades. And then, uh, but then also like, you know, I got to make sure that whatever I'm doing is, you know, fully justified, right? Um, fully justified. So therefore I can, um, you know, fully under, like they can understand their grade and they feel comfortable with the grade. And one thing I used to always ask my students at the end of the year, like, you know, and even actually at the end of our test, like, you know, you might not like your grade, right? And of course, a lot of students did not like their grade in my class. But I'm like, did you at least feel that you were graded fairly, right? And I think one of the biggest complaints that I got from students was that they wanted the homework to count more. <laughs> they didn't like that they were everything so much was on tests and quizzes, which I get. But the problem was, you know, just like it is now, the answers are out there. You know, I gave them the answers. I gave them videos of me teaching them what to do. So unfortunately, that's going to reduce the reduce the amount. You know, and um. You know, but I think a lot of students wanted to wanted just to be told, you know, oh, do this homework assignment, and just because you did it or you copied the answers or whatever may be the case, like you get a whole bunch of points and then you're gonna pass. Like, no, it's like, you know, sometimes like, you know, obviously that's why math, you know, has that little bit bad rap. Like, you got to be able to perform as well. It's not just about doing the work um, and getting it turned in. Like, you have to make sure you can show that you understand some of the material. All right, let me go and get into some comments, and then I'll talk about um, tests.